In past years, you know, we've all gone to prescription planting. We, we've, we we're utilizing hydraulic drive motors to control that. But when we do that, we're controlling planter wide. So if I have a 60 foot wide planter, all 60 feet of that planter is being controlled specifically to that. We may break that into a section where we may have a 30 foot section. But when we start getting into electric drives, electric drives allow me to control each row individually. So if I'm on a 30 inch row, each row is looking very specifically that individual row exactly at that moment in time. So if I'm thinking like I have a, a 36 row planter, now it's like I have 36 one row individual planters. We set the down pressure correctly by row and we would set seating rate correctly by that row as we travel through the field. Now downforce is, is, is very critical to our planter operation because it's understanding if a corn plant comes out of the ground and there's a delay in emergence, uh, we, we talk about a 12, 24 hour window is my ideal. Uh, once we get past about a 36 hours of emergence, so whether that corn's in the ground one week, two weeks, three weeks, from spike to spike, if we're within that 36 hour window, we hit all the corn plants being at the same color of development throughout the growing season. And if I have that, that delay, I know that I'm one collar behind. Uh, research out of the Purdue side here would be telling us what? It's a six to seven bushel yield loss. In two collars, we would actually be basically using nutrients, using water, but uh, returning nothing back into my yield environment.